He's a hometown hero, a three-sport star at Leighton High School, three-time All-Pac-12, an All-American, and now an Indianapolis Colt. Julian Blackman joins us now on Sportsbeat. Indianapolis Colt safety Julian Blackman. How does that sound? Sounds right to me, man. It sounds right to me. <laughs> That's awesome. Can you share what it was like to receive that call from the Colts on Friday night? With the 85th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Indianapolis Colts select Julian Blackman, defensive back, Utah. Oh, man, it, it was surreal. There was a lot of missed emotions going on. Uh, my heart kind of dropped as soon as, I, as soon as I saw that it was Indianapolis that I was going to. I was just thankful for the opportunity. And, and, you know, with my family, we just all been, you know, cheered and are celebrating. Uh, did you have any indication that the Colts had this much interest in you? Yes, sir. So they actually were the first team that talked to me when I got to the combine. Uh, you know, they just pulled me aside and they, one of the coaches was actually there to tell me, hey, don't be surprised when we pick you up earlier than what people expect. So, you know, I kept my mouth shut. I mean, I knew it was going to happen. Uh, a lot of people didn't, but yeah, I'm happy that they did. Now, they think you're a great fit. Do you think you're, are they a great fit for you? What is it about that organization that uh, you're excited to be a part of? I think that I'm a great fit for that organization. Organization, uh, you know, I think that I can do a lot of things that are different uh, than a lot of other guys. You know, that makes me versatile. Uh, so being able to play nickel, corner, uh, safety, um, I talk to them, and you know, we're not sure what I'll do. If there's anything that the coach wants me to do, I'll be willing to do. Now that the draft is over and you know where you're going, we want to see you on the field, and I'm sure you want to do the same as well. How's your rehab coming, and could you be 100% by camp if camp starts in late July? Uh, we'll see. Uh, right now, we're just focusing on rehab. Uh, not really. Sure. We don't have really have a timetable, so it just kind of depends on uh, my rehab. So uh, hopefully, you know, the best comes to best. I can be early, but if not, I'll just keep rehabbing. Well, it was a great week for the University of Utah. Seven Utes drafted overall. Three defensive backs in the first three rounds. I know you take a lot of pride in that. What does it say about the program, and what can it do for the program moving forward? I think it speaks volumes to the recruitment uh, to our coaches is doing a great job playing guys that they trust and uh, understanding uh, the end goal for them, which is they want to win. They want to compete. And we brought that. Uh, the guys that they had, uh, Terrell, Jalen, uh, Zach Moss, all, all those guys that got drafted today uh, or the past three days, it just shows you know, the, the competitive spirit that Utah has. And for years, hopefully, uh, it helps with the recruitment. Have you had a chance to talk to any of your teammates that were drafted? Definitely. I, I pretty much reached out to all of them. Um, first one I talked to was Tua Burgess. Uh, he got on my FaceTime. And we were just talking around 1 a.m., just talking about how crazy it is and how fun it's been, um, just this whole ride. And hopefully I'll see him in the playoffs because I know I'll get there. you got to get his team there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so. exactly. Well, I remember back in camp talking to both of you together, and it's kind of surreal that now we're at this point and you're both in the league. Terrell's a great story. I know you two are close. How did he go from playing very little to now a third-round NFL pick in the matter of one year? Uh, I think that just honestly because the kid's smart. Uh, you know, there's a lot of guys who play behind guys who always are focused, and no matter what the situation, whether they're not a starter or not, they're always paying attention, very attentive listeners. And I think that's a big thing with Terrell is he's a very smart player. He, he understands everything about the game. Uh, and, you know, he could play any position. And when the time came, he was ready. And he knew he was ready. And I, I called it, like, right before the season started, I, I told everyone, the Real Burgess is going to go off. He's going to be very, uh, very, very happy with what they see from him. You were right on on that one. Now, you shared a social media moment uh, earlier today, a letter you wrote in the fourth grade. How much motivation did that letter provide over the years? And how cool is it to look back now? Awesome. I honestly, I didn't even remember the letter until my teacher sent it to my mom. And I was just reading it. And it's just funny how, you know, the things you speak into existence as a little kid, uh, some of us are blessed enough to uh, further it and actually complete it. And so, uh, you know, it did feel fire for my whole life. You know, uh, people wrote in there that uh, if I'm not good at something, then I'm just going to work until I am better than I still feel that way today. Um, I actually think there's a lot of things that I can work on and I think that I can get better at. So that's all I, I keep that as my motivation and my fire. Now, there are a lot of young kids out there, boys and girls, here in Utah that see what you have accomplished and they want to be like you. They want to achieve something great. What advice do you have for them tonight? Uh, honestly, it doesn't, for me, it doesn't matter what anybody tells you, man. Uh, 
if you if you want to be a doctor, if you want to flip burgers, go flip burgers. You better be the best burger flipper ever. Uh, you know, <laughs> anything that you want to do, it doesn't matter what anybody tells you. Go do it because you can. Especially at a younger age, you just have to be dedicated and have patience and faith in God. Um, that's that's the main thing is just faith and understanding that His plan for you is the best plan. It's the only plan. And so uh, just understanding that and being able to understand that you as a person can do whatever you want as long as you set your mind to it, you'll be good. That's great advice, Julian. It has been a pleasure covering your career from the time you were a Lancer to a Ute and now in the NFL. We can't wait to show your highlights on Sundays next fall. Best of luck in your next chapter. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for having me.